Welcome to another edition of On The Needle. It's not Friday, but I still have made it in time for the weekend. And so today we are talking about Cynthia Erivo. So, um, oh, I, didn't even, I really didn't intend to do this, y'all, but I kind of matched the album. That's dope. All right, so this is her debut album. Some people may not know that she released this album. I feel like it was very under the radar, but I love her acting ability. I think she's one of the best actresses of the last like decade or so. Um, I really loved her portrayal of Aretha Franklin um, when they had the, the mini series, I guess you could say. Um, and then Jennifer Hudson played her. I still haven't seen that one, to be honest, because and not that I don't want to see it, but I feel like to see the mini series and the way Cynthia Erivo, I felt, did a great job playing Aretha Franklin. I didn't feel an urgency to see the one with Jennifer Hudson. So y'all let me know what you think. If you've seen both, which one do you like better? Um, I will be honest and I will say I love her voice. I really, really do. Um, the album, I can't say I'm necessarily crazy about. Uh, I do have favorites on here. Um, I love Alive. I love The God. Um, I Might Be In Love With You is one of my favorites. Um, Glowing Up is also another one of my favorites. This is the track list. Um, but again, I feel like the album could have been and should have been promoted more. Um, I feel like it should have been promoted uh, more heavily. I just happened to run across, I think it was an Instagram post where she was doing a special on the album before it first came out. Um, but this album to me feels like it wasn't self-guided. And what I mean by that is, um, okay, so case in point, one of my favorite artists, Pink. Um, her first album was very R&B driven. I love it. Um, but if you've heard interviews talk with her talking about it, um, or even just kind of even tell through the music, um, she really started being herself, I think, around the second album, The Misunderstood One, which ended up being her biggest album to date in terms of record sales. So I think maybe Cynthia Revo could be in the same situation um, where some of the songs that were presented to her may not have been exactly what she wanted to do. I could be way off base here, but I just feel like this album is great don't get me wrong but i feel like she wasn't afforded the ability to really let loose is what i'm trying to say so let's get into it um i love this handwritten so on the inside she has this photo i love this uh kind of handwritten thank you note that she has here i think that's a really cool touch like personal touch um it's a double record double vinyl um, so she has this cool forward, which I think is really nice too. She basically talks about, um, some of the songs being written as far back as seven years ago prior to the release. Um, now this album actually came out three years ago, 2021. So a lot of these songs were like, you know, 10 years or so, um, ago in the making. Um, she also wrote every song on here. Um, so I think that's definitely commendable. Um, of course, you know, she did the vocals. I'm looking to see like some of the production. These producers, I don't really recognize, um, which is not a bad thing. I don't think you always have to have recognizable producers. Um, but Will Wills, Jesse Shacken um, produced a lot of the tracks. Um, Let's see here, who else? Uh, they're the main ones, looks like. Um, there are a few others, Jack Splash, kind of in there a little bit. Zela, Zela, I don't know exactly how you pronounce that. But Cynthia Erivo made sure her pen was present <laughs> throughout this whole album. So there's a little bit of the liner notes there. And what I really do love about this is it's a colored vinyl and it's transparent. It is orange, so that's really cool. Orange, for some reason, has become one of my favorite colors in the last few years. Uh, so I've really started to like orange more. 
Um, so that's the first record. Uh, then this one is orange with the background instead of the white. And this one actually has lyrics. So it's a lyric sheet for the whole album. Um, all the songs here, which I think is also a nice touch. Um, so I feel like with the packaging, she really gave fans something great. And this part I thought was really cool. So I'm gonna take this out so y'all can see the whole thing. So, let me not drop it. <laughs> so if you look at this, um, it has the album kind of album title kind of etched in there, I guess you could say, in the printing. And then you can see her hands, like her nails, and at the very bottom is her signature. So this is technically a signed vinyl. Now I gotta give her props on this because I've never seen a signed vinyl made in that way. Usually it's on the packaging itself, like on the sleeve, um, which is still cool too, or it might be like a an insert on the inside that's signed. I've never seen anybody sign a vinyl on the actual vinyl itself. So I think that's super dope. But um, yeah, Cynthia Revo. I think this is a great collector's album and it's a um, conversation piece. I think when people are flipping through your records, I've had that happen several times with this particular record. People will flip through and they'll say, oh, I didn't know Cynthia Revo had an album. Yes, she does, and I have it. So I think it's nice bragging rights as a vinyl collector. But let me know what you all think about this album, what you think about Cynthia Revo as an actress, as a singer. I think she has an amazing voice. I really would love to see her utilize her voice more um, than she has already. Um, but anxious to know y'all's thoughts. So let me know. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe. Thank you to the new subscribers uh, that have come within the last week or so. And also, again, another shameless plug, make sure you check out the Water Bear podcast. Season six starts this Thursday. So returning from hiatus, and it's gonna be the ick of all 12 signs. This Thursday is starting with Aquarius, my sign. So don't wanna miss it. Till next week, peace.